Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I have the window open, so I apologize for any outdoor noises, but it feels so good outside. It's like 70 degrees right now. I don't know why, but I'm appreciating it. But today, I am so, so, so excited. This was actually supposed to come yesterday, and I was so excited all day at work yesterday to come home, and then it was never delivered, but it was delivered this morning. And I got the Kindle Scribe here in the box, and I also bought some accessories for it, like always. I definitely don't need this Kindle by any means, but I actually got like $100 off of it because of rewards with my Best Buy account and I also got a honey coupon and I got like a hundred dollars off of this thing. I don't think I would have spent full price on it but we'll see if I even like it at all. If not I have 15 days to return it but I'm so excited. I have not been able to find many unboxings or videos on this at all from a reader standpoint. I have been seeing a lot of videos from tech unboxers and stuff like that but I have not seen many from people like me who are just people who read um, a couple times a week or someone that is buying this mainly for reading and not for note taking because I know a lot of people are buying this and judging it for its note taking abilities which I understand because it comes with a pen and everything but I'm gonna try to review it more from like a reader standpoint. I have the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. I am obsessed with this thing. This thing is the reason why I read so many books last year that I did. I have now become a ebook reader, way more than a physical reader. Every single time I read now, I pretty much read on this thing and I don't even enjoy reading physical books anymore because I love this so much. So that's why I felt like the Scribe was a good investment because I read digital books so often and I'm not getting rid of this. I absolutely love this. I will still be using this when I go out places and read because the scribe is just so big, but I will probably be using the scribe at home. But yeah, I absolutely love the paper white. I have no issues with this. I love it so much and that's why I wanted to spoil myself a bit and upgrade. Okay, so I don't want to rant for too long, but I just wanted to explain why I decided to get it um, because at first I was debating on either the Oasis or this one, but I've heard a lot of complaints about the battery life on the Oasis and this scribe is not even waterproof, so I don't like that either, but I decided to just go big or go home with the scribe because it just came out. So first I am going to open the couple accessories that I bought. I do have tons of stickers coming from Redbubble. Um, I ordered them almost two weeks ago and they haven't been delivered yet, so I'm not sure where the stickers are, but I did buy stickers for the case and this is the clear case for it. I wanted to get a clear case because I'm not a huge fan of the type of cases that like fold over the screen when it comes to an iPad or anything like that. I just find them tacky and I don't like them. So I got this clear case instead and then I'll probably buy some type of like cover for the Kindle when I'm not using it to protect it. But for holding it, I prefer a case like this. So I just got a plain clear case here and it comes for a spot to put the pencil which is what I really really liked. Um, this is more of a plastic bendy material than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a hard plastic so I may have to buy something a little bit better but this had the best reviews for right now and then I went ahead and I bought some pop socket. As you guys know I have a pop socket on here. The reason I'm able to hold this thing so easily is because of the pop socket. I know this Kindle scribe is going to be so much bigger so I went ahead and I bought two pop sockets to put on both sides of the Kindle so I can kind of hold both sides at the bottom of it when I'm holding it or hold it with one hand or the other. So these are the two pop sockets that I got. I tried to get some that would match the stickers that I bought. So I got this heart and then these flowers here. I feel like they're gonna look really cute with all the bookish stickers. And for right now, these are the only accessories that I bought for it while I wait for the stickers to come in the mail. I will probably, like I said, buy some type of book cover and probably buy other cool things eventually, but that's what I got for right now. Now let's get to the fun part and let's unbox the actual scribe itself. And like I said, I bought this from Best Buy because it was cheaper at Best Buy than it is on Amazon. And here it is. Wow, this is actually super heavy. Oh my gosh. All right, so here it is freshly out of the package. This is a lot heavier than I expected the packaging is. It is huge, way bigger than my face. So it says the world's first Kindle for reading and writing. It has a 10.2 inch 300 PPI display, adjustable warm light, 
access to millions of books from the Kindle store and I do use Kindle Unlimited a lot. I love the books on there. You can make handwritten notes, import and mark up PDF files. There's weeks of battery life and there's USB-C charging. So I bought the Kindle Scribe with the premium pin. I don't remember if I bought the ad-free one or not. If I didn't, then Amazon can just take off the ads for me because I absolutely hate the ads. All right, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's do the little pull tab here. All right, so let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh, okay. I think that's all in the packaging here. So as soon as you pull it out of the box, it looks like this. So let's go through the bottom and see what's in this little compartment right here. So first we have this, it says, hello, Kindle Scribe, and it's like a little booklet. It says, meet your Kindle Scribe, and it says, eraser, shortcut button on the pen. So the premium pen has an eraser on the top of it, the basic pen doesn't. It shows you where the power button is, the USB-C port is. It tells you how to activate the Kindle and how to replace the tips in the pen. And they give you five extra tips in here, which is really nice. I'm not sure how quick these pins get worn down, but I guess we're gonna test it out and see. I'm pretty much only going to be using the pen to like annotate and write books, which I feel like won't be like crazy often. So I don't know how often I'll need to replace these, but it's really nice to have those. And we have the pin all wrapped up and then the USB-C cable to charge it. Doesn't come with a wall plug. Nothing comes with wall plugs anymore, which is stupid, but there's that. And then there's a quote on it that says, I kept always two books in my pocket, one to read and one to write in. That's cute, I like that. So let's take the pen out here. So I'm trying to compare it to the Apple Pencil because I do have an iPad and an Apple Pencil. I do not read on my iPad at all. I absolutely hate reading on like phones and iPads that don't have e-ink. I just, I hate it so much. So I don't really read on my phone or anything. This is definitely way smaller than an Apple Pencil and way lighter than an Apple Pencil, which I really like. It feels like an actual like number two pencil that you would write with. There is a button right here. It doesn't seem too easy to push it. I do have a couple artist pens and tablets and they have buttons here and I accidentally press them all the time. So we'll see if that's an issue that I have. And then the top up here is like the eraser. It actually even like bends like a little eraser too. And then you could replace the tip of the pins right here. All right, so let's go ahead and look into it. Open it up. Here we are. So first impressions, this is definitely like the same size as my iPad. It is lighter than an iPad or pretty equivalent to my iPad Air. Um, it feels really nice in the hands. It's very, very thin, definitely thinner than my iPad Air, I would say. There's little like notches in the corners of it and it feels really nice like this is super super nice i really like the way it looks and it honestly it doesn't look too big if i put two pop sockets right here and i hold it like this i really feel like it would be really comfortable to hold all right let's go ahead and put this case on before we get started i wish i had my stickers already so i could go ahead and decorate it if they come before i edit this video then i'll definitely include me decorating it if not i will decorate the case in a future vlog because I'm currently filming a reading vlog. All right, here's the case on. It fits pretty well. It doesn't seem like it would come off too easily, which is good. And then I can put the pin in here. And this pin does not need to be charged, which is really nice. Oh, it turned on. I didn't mean to turn it on, but I turned it on. It's probably gonna prompt me to connect my Amazon account to it. And this is pretty fast. I am comparing it to my Kindle Paperwhite, which is already pretty fast too. So I don't know how much faster the system is than the Signature Edition Paperwhite, but right now it seems like it's pretty fast. I'm excited to see how fast the writing is with the pen. Never used like an e-ink tablet before. I know there are a couple out there, but I've never used one. Okay, I just finished connecting it to the app on my phone. It was like super quick. It literally did it in less than a minute. So now it's just going to open it. Okay, so after it did the update, everything came on. As you can see here, it all is. I love seeing all of the books on such a big screen. Like my library down here. And all of the books that I have downloaded recently are here. Some of them are still downloading as you can see, but this is my whole Kindle library. I would love to do a what's on my Kindle eventually because I actually have most of my books 
categorized by collections and it's actually really nice to see it all on this big screen instead of the little one but I have a lot of my books all categorized and stuff and I like to organize them but yeah this is pretty fast as you can see it's scrolling a lot actually a lot quicker than my Kindle Paperwhite so that's really nice I mean obviously everything is still loading but it's still pretty fast considering so up here I can make it brighter as you can see I normally keep it pretty like in the middle when I'm reading except for at night I go pretty low and then the warm light which is what I usually have all the way on on my Kindle Paperwhite because as many of you guys know I have chronic migraines so this helps my eyes so much when I'm reading so I normally keep that all the way on warmth to help my eyes when I'm reading we've got dark mode I keep my Kindle on dark mode personally but I'll take it off dark mode so you guys can see a little bit better Got airplane mode, Bluetooth. I normally keep airplane mode on when I'm just reading because it saves battery life a lot. So let's go ahead and try to write down here. It says notebooks, which is I'm assuming where you start writing. So let's try. I am left-handed. I already just pressed this button already. So all right, let's go ahead and make a notebook. And we're just going to choose, look at there's like all these templates. And I've already seen some like Etsy templates that you can buy to make like a reading journal, which is something that I might do. So it says writing toolbar, writing tools, pointer tool, undo, redo, and do more. Can I zoom out? Okay, no. So I can close this. I can choose whatever pen I want. Oh, that's really quick. Oh, that's about the same as an iPad when it comes to writing. There's the pen. I think this is the highlighter. Yep, this is the highlighter. This is the eraser. Wow, it like pushes down like a real eraser too. When you're erasing, you can still see it. Oh, and then it goes away. Okay, that's pretty cool. So there's the eraser. Actually, I could still see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. You could still see it a little bit written on the paper after you erase it. I don't know if that's something that will go away. So I am left-handed. I like the matte finish while writing so much more than I like writing on my iPad because it's glossy. I know you can get a matte screen protector for the iPad, but I do really like the way it sounds. You can kind of hear it, the way it sounds and feels. Uh, once you start writing again, the old writing kind of goes away that you can faintly see in the background, so that's good. Um, there's tons of different templates and stuff. When you press up in the corner, all the options come back. You can rename your notebook, and you can close your notebook and make more, and then you can import PDFs into here. You can see my writing. So I'm definitely going to play around and test that and probably do a review on it in the future. Got my Goodreads that I need to connect. It might already be connected. And then it also shows up on my recent items too, which is pretty cool. And I can scroll with the pin like that. Here's the web browser. We've got Twitter, Facebook, New York Times. Let's just click Amazon. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Can I zoom in? Okay, that's an awkward zoom in. It won't even do- okay, that's- that's better. A little slow. I mean, obviously- obviously this is not like a crazy internet tablet where you're gonna be like scrolling the internet or anything like that, but that was pretty quick. Okay, I'm just going to click a random book. Let's- let's click the Bridgerton book here. And here are the pages. So I'm gonna click this right here. So it has the pointer finger, and then it has the sticky note button, where you can tap the page to place your note exactly where you want it. And then there's three dots where you can move it to the right side. So I don't know if this just means... Okay, so the pointer finger is just like going from page to page. And I'm assuming that's how you highlight. And then I'm going to click note. And then I can handwrite or text the note which I'm definitely going to be doing the handwriting because that's what I do in my physical books, so. And then I'm gonna exit. And then it looks like it's right here. So if I click it again, it pops up, which I actually really like. I would prefer if I could like write on the physical book, but it is pretty cool that you can, you know, write a whole note and then it doesn't take up the whole page and you can just like go back and click what you wrote. 
instead of it like being all over the page but I would prefer if they had an option where you could physically write like on the page right here like you do in the lines of like an actual physical book but maybe that's something that they will do in the future and then you can also view your annotations up here which is pretty cool you can go back and see all of your different annotations so I'm actually super excited for this all right so I put the two pop sockets on the back here and eventually this is going to be all full of you know different bookish stickers and stuff but I tested it out to see how I felt holding it with these and it makes it so much easier to hold I know when I'm going to be holding it like this I can just easily hold it in my hand no matter what side I'm holding it on I can hold it very easily which is really nice it feels so good on the hands the only thing holding it on this side is that you know I might awkwardly like hit the pencil out of the case but that's just because the type of case that I have on but I really think that this pop socket idea is really smart to do if you buy this Kindle because you can hold it on both sides very easily and it doesn't look tacky. I think it looks really cute, especially when all the stickers are going to be on here. I had the case on the wrong way before and that's why the power button was acting all weird, but I put the case on correctly and I have the pen. You can switch it either way and the screen will follow. So I'm left-handed, so I have this part on the left-hand side because I'm left-handed, um, but if you're right-handed, you could flip it around and it'll switch the screen to this side, but I prefer having it like this. And it also kind of feels more like a real notebook because the binder part of it, like the spiral part is on the left side. Feels a bit more natural to me. But yeah, let's compare the two sizes. <laughs> like, it's actually insane how much bigger this thing is compared to the Kindle Paperwhite. Here's the two compared to each other. Let's flip around to the screen. These are the difference between the two Kindles. So obviously it is a very dramatic difference. I believe the Kindle Paperwhite's like six or seven inches and then this is like 10. So it is a drastic difference in size, but I am so, so, so excited to start reading with this. I'm actually going to finish reading Akatar on this because I am reading it physically, but I just hate like I said, reading physically lately. So I'm going to start reading it on here and hopefully I can finish the book on here. You can annotate it a bit and your annotations, I believe, do show up on Goodreads, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that was my unboxing and initial review of it so far. Honestly, so far, I'm pretty happy with it and I am so excited to try it out. And I feel like everything feels really nice. It looks really nice. It seems really fast. And I know that I'm definitely going to be using this thing like crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will be doing a future vlog where I decorate the case with stickers and everything. So make sure to subscribe so you can see that. I have a Patreon down below if you guys are interested in joining. I do have a book club buddy read every single month. And the book that me and my patrons are reading this month is The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones. This is like a historical gothic horror type book so if you guys like that then you could join the buddy read and we talk about it on discord and it's really fun so I will put that down below I also have my social medias down below as well but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.